Hello there, good morning or good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is. Um, quick video, quick video uh, on the topic of using a counter and the clock memory uh, of an S7 PLC to count the seconds that the system has been running. So very quick video, uh, therefore I create actually a new PLC. You could take any, every PLC has the um, clock memory and every PLC can work with the CU, uh, CU with the count up block. So first of course, I will uh, go to my device configuration. I will turn on the clock, the, clock, the clock memory for my PLC. So double clicking on the PLC here in the device configuration pop and I will get down here in the properties. If it's not shown for you properties, there it is general and there should be system and clock memory. I'll enable the clock memory and I like to leave it actually at byte zero. We could push it somewhere else, but that's fine. So I can see one Hertz that's once per second is at memory 0 0.5 and has the name uh, clock one Hertz. Good. First part. Second part is I go to my main very, very basic simple program and I want to count the seconds my system has been running to count the seconds. I have this trigger, the clock memory that toggles with a frequency of one Hertz on off on off. I can use that together with a counter with a CTU a count up, right? I've got the CTU, the count up. I put it here in my program. I will give the instance of the timer a name count up uh, count seconds, seconds, seconds. So here I go. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. That's pretty. So this is my counter. What I just need here is at a specific point in time, maybe after one minute, maybe after one minute, I will have the output turning on. Uh, I also want to reset. Uh, M, I don't know where. Some memory I want to reset. Not needed. The reset is actually not needed. I just want to have it here. And I want to count up every second. So I just have a normally open or normally closed contact. It doesn't matter. Don't take one of the edges because this already has an edge detection internally, right? It has one inside. We don't need to put one on the outside. So I put this and I have my, I can select it with the drop down here, one hertz. That's it. This is how we can, uh, what is it? This is how we can ca count the amount of seconds that we already had. So let's check this. I am downloading this into my little um, simulation I've got running here on the side, this one. I go online and here we go, every second, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Every second it counts. This value I can actually take from here. So if I have a, uh, we can actually take it from the data block that has been created right here in there. I've got this. Or I can just make another one, uh, memory word 50 or whatsoever. Rename and this is seconds gone by by seconds gone by like this. Good. Can download again and that's it. I just added this and this I can use wherever in my program wherever I want. Right. This is how I can count the seconds. Should work. If it doesn't work, it might be that your clock doesn't really tick. It might also be that your reset is permanently triggered like this right could be or it could be in a lot of cases in a lot of cases you have used your counter function twice so if i take this and use it a second time here right you see this this will most times not right now because i use the same uh let's take uh, maybe five hertz if i use the same timer twice this will mess up right you see this messes up both right now uh, what i would need to do is down here this counter here is not for counting seconds this is for counting seconds database one in database one i can see the seconds then here i want to count with five hertz i don't want to recalculate this what is it five hertz that's 200 milliseconds there i go now I do have one counter for the seconds. Oh, let me reset this one. 
one counter for the seconds up here and one counter for, for the uh, five hertz. Yeah, that's it pretty much, right? That's it pretty much. If there are any issues with this, just leave a comment, but it should work out like this very well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you've got any questions, just leave them below. Uh, ring the bell. That's how YouTubers say it nowadays. Ring the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you next time around. Bye-bye.